Hello, hello, hello. Good morning, everyone. Make a love shout out all the subscribers and followers of this channel. And if you are new to my channel, please um, check out this. And we have our lesson for today is about using isosceles and equilateral triangles to solve its unknown part. In this section, we will use the facts that we know about isosceles and equilateral triangles to solve for missing sides and angles. Isosceles triangles has the congruent sides are legs. Okay, the third side is the base, and the two congruent sides form the vertex angle. So this can and the other two angles are the base angles. Properties of isosceles triangles. The angle formed by the congruent sides is called the vertex angle. And the two congruent sides are called legs. And the third side is called the base. The two angles formed by the base and the legs are called base angles. What do we know about an isosceles triangle? There are two congruent sides in an isosceles triangle and two congruent angles. What do we remember about an equilateral triangle? All of the sides and angles should be congruent. The angles in equilateral triangles always equal 60 degrees. Okay, this is an example of equilateral triangle. The base angle theorem. If two sides of a triangle are congruent, then the base angles are also congruent. Base angles are angles at the ends of the two congruent side segments. So in the diagram, angles B and C are congruent. So we have here base angle B and C. Converse to the base angle theory, if two angles in a triangle are congruent, then the triangle is an isosceles triangle. That means the, the two sides of the triangles are also congruent. For the value of x, okay, or to find the value of x, we have 5x plus 35, or 5x plus 5 equals 35. So we have two congruent set side here, so this one and this one. Okay, so 5x is equal to 30 divided by 5 is equal to 6. So we have here 9x is equal to 72 divided by 9. The answer is 8. Okay. So we need to find the x. So x and 2x. So we can have this as x also, no? Okay, so x plus x plus 120 is equal to 180. So we have 2x plus 102 is equal to 180. So 180 minus 102 is 78 divided by 2, no? Okay, divided by 2, so the answer is 39. x is 39. All right, so we need to, the sum of the interior angles is 180. Okay, so we have here x plus 7 equals to 55, all right? So x equals 48 because 55 minus 7 is 48. So since we have two 45s here, Okay, so 48 plus 5 is, or plus 7 is 
455, so we have 255 here, and this is 110. No? 110 plus y is equals to 180, therefore y is equals to 78. Next, we have if this is uh, if this is an isosceles triangle, then what are the two congruent angles? X is equals to 45. Yes. 9y is equals to 45 divided by 9, therefore y is equals to 5. Okay, so because y times 5 is 45, or 9 times 5 is 45. Okay, now how would you find the values of x and y? Here, since we have um, this Okay, this is an isosceles triangle. And from the facts, Nina, so we have this angle is 960 degrees. Okay, so x is 60 degrees. And this side here, okay, and this one is an equilateral triangle. So if this is 3, this, this side is also 3. Okay, so x is 60. Okay, 60 degrees. And y is equals to 3 times 3 plus 3, that is equals to 6. Or we can get the side. So this one is 4. Or the, uh, their longest side is 4. Okay. Next, what are the oh, what are all of the missing angles? Okay, for missing angles here, if this is sixty, so we'll just project this bigger, the bigger angle. So if this is sixty, what do you think is one? So if this is forty, this must be also forty. Okay, so this angle is also forty. So 40 plus 40 is 80. This must be 110. Okay? So, or we can solve this one. So if this is 60, uh, 180 minus 60, that should be uh, 180 minus 60 is 120. Okay? So... 100, if 100, this is 120, okay, this is 40, so 120 plus 40 is equals to 160, okay, that means this is 20 degrees, okay, got it? All right. Let's have another. Now let's solve for x and y. So this, let us solve first. Now 3x minus 11 is equals to 2x plus 11. Okay, so we have 3x minus 2x is equals to 11 plus 11. Therefore, x is equals to 22. Okay. Now, if this is 22, uh, if x is 22, should this would be uh, 3, 3 times 22 minus 11. So, we have 66 minus 11 is equals to 55. Right? So, 55. So, this is 55. So, we got here 2 times... Okay, this is 55. Then we have uh, 2 times 22, 44, no, uh, plus 11, 44 plus 11 is equals to 55. Okay, so this is also 55. Therefore, this must also be 45 or 55. What else? 55 plus 55 
Okay, so 2y plus 55 times 2 is 110 equals 180. Oh, so 2y is equals to 180 minus 110. That is 70. Okay, so 2y divided by 2. Okay, so we have y is equals to 35. Okay. <clears throat> 2 times 35 is 70. So this will be 70. Okay, if this is 70, 110 plus 70 is 180. Correct. Okay, next. Okay, this also takes uh, solving x and y. For x and y, we have here okay so let's solve first this one if this is uh, isosceles then the two angles are congruent so we have 5x minus 10 is equals to 3x 10. okay so 5x minus 3x equals to 10 plus 10. So we got 2x is equals to 20 divided by 2. Okay. We got x is equals to 10. Right. So 10 times 3, 30 plus 10. Okay, this is 40 degrees. Right, 40 degrees. So this one, 5 times 10 minus 10, that is also 40 degrees. So this is 40 degrees. So what will be your, what what do you think is your, um, if this is 40, 40, this must be, Okay, so 40. So we have 4y plus 80. Wait, uh, yeah, 80 plus 180. So 4y is equals to 100, equals 180 minus 80. 4y is equals to 100. 100 divided by 4, y is equals to 25. Okay, 25. That's it. Okay, go. Oh. Alright guys, for questions and clarifications, please leave your comment in the comment section. This saying will be your... Uh, journal for today triangle shapes are often used in subtraction because of their strength so what do you think about this essay or this um a quotation please write your thoughts in your journal notebook see you again guys love you all